Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at Birdland here in New York City. Vocalist and pianist Hillary Cole has a very, very unique and beautiful project that she's just released on the Just In Time label. What's very, very interesting about this project is that over the last five years, she's recorded songs from the Great American Songbook with some of the legendary pianists, Monty Alexander, the late Oscar Peterson, Hank Jones, Dave Brubeck. And tonight here at the record release party, she's performing with some of her great friends that I think you will really, really enjoy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the sounds of Hillary Cole and some of her special guests. something very courageous you've decided to sing some of the greatest American songs from the great American songbook but invite some of the greatest jazz pianists of all time to accompany you on this CD how hard was that and how did you go about choosing the songs for this project well it was um you know now that I think about it I was a little crazy to try it um, but I'm thrilled I did I really was just interested in presenting the, these songs in in a, in a different way and and the most honest way and uh, I was bitten by the bug about five years ago I had the honor of getting to know Oscar Peterson working with him a little bit and uh, I recorded a few tracks with him in a, in a last minute recording se session and I was kind of bitten by the bug then and and I thought you know this would be a really challenging uh, an exciting project and so we we contacted Hank Jones and a lot of the other pianists that I had worked with before Michelle Legrand and 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 then of course other pianists that I just idolized like like Kenny Barron and and Benny Green and Monty Alexander and uh, I was really really lucky for the, they got excited about the project about doing one track each and and uh, it was really fascinating. They they really wanted to hear each other's tracks, and they were all you know they were always very intri intrigued in who who was doing what songs and you know and when. Uh, a couple times uh, we had p two of them meeting you know together. We had a wonderful thing with um, Hank Jones and Michelle Grand, where where Michelle came late and Hank came early, and so they ended up playing piano four hands for about an hour together. Just and we just watched. You know, it was like that's history. Um, but it was an incredible challenge. But uh, you know, when you play tennis with someone a little bit better than you, they say your game gets better. So I'm I'm hoping that's what happened with this CD because I feel like they really pushed me to to be the best that I could be with every song. Now, Hillary, this is another step for you too because I've seen you play piano and sing. Yeah. How hard was it for you to let the masters play for you, <laughs> and you just do you pay attention to the vocal? easy because they're the masters and the thing is when you're playing when you're working with someone who is so incredible at what they do you almost forget it's not work you know you forget about the audience you forget about everything and it just enables you it enables me as a singer to go to that essence of the lyric and what we're singing about instead of worrying about everything about the notes because the notes are being taken care of and uh the the most amazing thing was each and every player has such a different style so the challenge was you know how is that going to change me as a singer how much am I going to stay myself and yet I'm dancing with a different dance partner 
So it was very interesting, and I think there was this really nice balance of me bringing what I bring as a, as a singer to these songs, but then also going in different directions based on what they were giving me as accompanists. It's no good unless she loves you serious background your father was father sang in the original West Side Story and I just want to know how you really really got acquainted and acclimated with the American songbook because right now I think a lot of people are really if you want to hear those types of standards or those songs you have to listen to jazz instrumentalists but you are bringing you relatively young how did you get really interested in this? Well, I was lucky. My dad was is a singer. Uh, my grandmother was a, a classical pianist. So um, from an early age, I was studying classical piano and, and composition. And uh, I was really just always drawn to this music. And then I heard Ella Fitzgerald sing, and it really changed my life. I, I went to school in New York at Manhattan School of Music. And uh, I really started listening to jazz and the American Songbook there a little bit later, you know, about 18 years old. And it really changed my life, and, and uh, the more I listened, the more I, I knew that this is what I wanted to do with my life. You said in your show this evening that you came here thinking you were going to be a film composer, yeah. <laughs> and now you're singing. You've really mastered the whole cabaret and, and, and the jazz clubs. Cabaret is a very different beast also, and I want to know how you've you've taken the, the, the jazz component and brought it to the cabaret. Well, it's interesting. You know, cabaret is, is interesting, especially in New York City. Um, it's probably the best place to see it. Uh, cabaret really, for me, means emotional singing. And, 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 a, and usually it's in a small venue. So for me, singing, when, you're, you know, when you add lyric into this stuff, it changes everything. You know, instrumentalists usually don't deal with the lyric, although the best ones know, what they're, know the lyrics, and then they'll play accordingly. I mean, that to me is, is the, the mark of a really great instrumentalist. Uh, but for me, the jazz part of it, I always play with really great jazz musicians. Um, that's that's the turn on for me because every night it's different, and you know every night and you know th there's nothing like like the you know the feel of of when you're swinging and the band is swinging and it, it's an amazing thing. Um, I think it's transformative and it's it's America's art form. I mean to me that's it's I'm very passionate about keeping it going, and uh, the jazz component is the the having it be different every single night for me. So that that's something that I love. So you know I take that and I take the maybe the theatricality of cabaret uh, which I think with certain material like I'm doing a Sondheim song you know that to me to be true to that lyric you really have to go there emotionally you know and I think sometimes jazz singers don't invest enough in the emotional part of the song and but to me it's all about the lyric the music is important too of course but it's about the lyric so the lyric tells me where to go with it That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at Birdland. I'd like to personally thank Hillary Cole for her time, as well as the staff here at Birdland for their hospitality. I'd like to personally thank Mary Ann Topper, as well as Johnny Valenti for allowing all of this to happen, as well as Steph Brown at DL Media. As always, 
please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Peace. Dare me to be